In the final hours of his presidency, President Trump granted clemency to more than 140 people, including a wide range of offenders, including members of his inner circle. CBS 4's Bafta Yamam reports from Washington. Just after midnight on President Trump's last day in office, the White House announced he had issued 73 pardons and commuted the sentences of 70 other federal offenders. Every day we get stronger and they get weaker. The most prominent name on the list is former White House chief strategist Steve Bannon. Bannon is accused of defrauding donors in an effort to build a private wall along the Mexican border. His trial was due to begin in May. Two rappers also made the cut. Little Wayne was pardoned. He faced a prison sentence of up to 10 years for possession of a firearm and ammunition by a convicted felon. And Kodak Black was sentenced to 46 months in federal prison for making a false statement in order to buy a firearm. That sentence has been commuted. USA! Despite pleas by some of the alleged Capitol rioters, I think that we all deserve a pardon. None were granted that request. Nor was Joe Exotic, despite fans in a stretch limo waiting outside the Federal Medical Center in Texas, where he's being held. The Tiger King was not let out of a 22-year sentence for plotting the murder of zookeeper rival Carol Baskin. Well, he's been in jail for two and a half years. He's innocent. Also notably not on the list, no family members, no Rudy Giuliani, the president's attorney. And despite once claiming the absolute right to pardon himself, the president apparently decided against it. Both to Imam, CBS News, Washington. President Trump also granted a full pardon to former Westchester County District Attorney Albert J. Pirro Jr., the ex-husband of Fox News host Janine Pirro, was convicted of tax fraud in 2000.